potentially not qualify for that final and could have a legitimate grievance. But if the other, on the other hand, if they were the ones at fault in the clash, then they would not. That's why we're sitting up there and we have officials so, uh, so well done on the race course and we'll try to get that information to you as soon as possible. We're about ready to start for the second part of this women's collegiate, uh, collegiate novice B on the race course and getting ready to go for race number 25, the second of three in this category. And uh, we'll go down to the Cove at SeaWorld. Here we have event 25, the women's collegiate B, lane one, Washington State University. University of Southern California, Lane 2. Lane 3, California State University, Sacramento. Lane 4, the University of Tulsa. Lane 5, University Washington of California, State. Irvine. USC. Lane 6, University of Sacramento California, State. Santa Barbara. Lane Tulsa. 7, California UCLA. State University, Sonoma. UCSB, Sonoma. The Aligner's flag is up. Both are aligned. Conditions have got quite a bit more windy down here in the cove. We're waiting for the starter to get at them to go. Countdown start. The aligner Five, has gone to a countdown four, start. Four, three, two, one. Attention. Go. We have a start. All shells out of the blocks cleanly. And as we come out of the blocks in lane one, it's Washington State University taking the lead. In the second position in lane two is University of Southern California. And third position is California State University, Sacramento. Fourth, the University of California, Santa Barbara. And fifth, University of California, Irvine. University of Tulsa in sixth, and California State University of Sonoma in seventh. Right now, USC first position followed closely by Washington State University and California State University Sacramento is third. Approaching 500 meters, it's Washington State University, followed by University of Southern California and California State University, Sacramento, and the University of Tulsa in fourth. In fifth position, University of California, Santa Barbara, Followed by the University of California, Irvine is sixth, and bring, filling out the field is California State University, Sonoma. We're coming down the way with event number 25, the Women's Collegiate Novice B. This is the second of three. That means the two will go forward. We got a tangle down there. Uh, looks like somebody uh, caught a crab and almost came out of the boat. Not sure which crew that is. And we'll try to find out as soon as possible. Apparently the trouble happened in the Southern California boat. And it looked like the 
third rower uh, got tangled up somehow and almost uh, came free. Young lady in the middle of the screen there. She recovered nicely and there's an opportunity to represent Southern Cal the rest of the way down the way. Once again, lane assignments, lane number one, Washington State, and lane number two is University of Southern California, USC. Lane three, Sacramento State, Tulsa is in four, UC Irvine in five, UC Santa Barbara in six, and Cal State Sonoma in lane number seven. Again, we see a very uh, widespread in programs and uh, crews in this event. The crews from Washington State and to a certain extent from the University of Southern California and to a certain extent right. uh, Sacramento State will have a, a, a mixture of recruited rowers, that is experienced juniors, and some walk-on novices. Well, we just had another incident down there and it looks like the crew in Ooh. lane number three is sideways, uh, Sacramento State. Yes, they've, they've caught an enormous boat-stopping crab, as you can see on the, uh, on the Jumbotron. Uh, she's finally got the blade out. They'll try to get going as soon as possible, but they've moved across three or four, well, two or three lanes, and uh, they've looks like they've rowed right in front of another crew and stopped them dead in the water. And they're moving over in front of another crew on the wide, wide outside lane. I don't know whether they're going to affect them or not. Uh, of course, there's no requirement that you stick to your lane in rowing. Uh, but if you move out of your lane, you do so at your own peril of disqualification if you impede another crew. I think that was a perfect example, Charles, of what probably everybody on the beach knows, the tremendous torque that is involved with these blades and uh, as you saw the young lady struggling mightily just to get the oar out of the water uh, fortunately nobody came out of the boat which of course we've seen that happen before uh, looking at the lead Washington State University uh, followed by the University of Southern California and uh, then Sacramento State is long missing as I believe that that is Tulsa now fighting it out for the third position as they are out in lane number four. I don't know. Sacramento yes. State is now on the far outside and uh, they impeded the progress of, I believe, Cal Irvine or it might have been Santa Barbara. So it'll be interesting to see how this all gets sorted out. But I have to give credit to the young ladies in the Sacramento State boat for digging themselves out of a really ugly situation. Yes, when those boats are moving at speed and an oar gets lost that like that down the side of the boat, it's really difficult to actually recover the blade until the hull has lost some of its speed. But as we come down into the final 500, we're seeing a, a commanding performance from Washington State. They've been closely tracked by the University of Southern California, who had a bit of a hiccup during the early part of the race. And uh, they're being challenged by the University of Tulsa out in lane four. Uh, the Sac State impeded the UC Irvine crew and almost impeded the Sonoma State crew. Luckily, UC Santa Barbara were clear of that. Well, we just had another, another incident there. Uh, uh, it looked like uh, USC uh, grabbed a terrible crab once again and lost their stroke, and that gave Tulsa the opportunity to get some momentum and move up front. It's Washington State University with the lead on this. And then we have uh, Tulsa on the outside. However, USC, despite two really ugly situations, uh, they've recovered and they're only four seats back. So it'll be interesting to see if they can regain that momentum. On the lead is Washington State University, uh, followed on the outside by Tulsa there in the white shell. Uh, USC apparently uh, will be unable to recover from their second difficult situation. They had one earlier. As they come across the finish line, it looks like Washington State University will pick up the victory with uh, uh, Sacramento, check that, with uh, Tulsa in second spot. And in third position will be USC, as we're going to take a look at the incidents that happened a little bit earlier. Well, there you see the USC rot doing a magnificent job of recovering that oar when the boat hull, when the hull of the boat still moving at speed. She did a fantastic job of forcing that back 
and uh, losing as little time as possible. Sacramento State also got into some terrible trouble. As you can see, that aura has dropped straight down. Young lady mightily trying to pull it back up again. And finally really grabs hold of it as the speed does begin to diminish enough for her to dig it up out of the water. And you can see, Alan, that that ore is acting as a complete uh, rudder. So the more that that ore digs in and the more it acts as a rudder, it's slewing the boat over to its uh, starboard side. And that's what took them right over in front of the UC Irvine crew. They slewed right over in front of UC Irvine's lane and uh, brought the UC Irvine crew to a complete stop. Well, a couple of unfortunate incidences. Uh, USC certainly in being able to finish third in this race or apparently finishing third in this race uh, did a masterful job of overcoming two really uncomfortable situations. So unofficially, it's Washington State as the winner. Uh, Tulsa benefited from the USC problems and finished second with the Trojans coming in third and the remainder of the finish with all of the excitement uh, kind of went unnoticed there uh, with the remainder of the event number 25 women's collegiate novice crew will pick up the official results later on just a quick reminder that with the sun when we see it uh, rapidly approaching its passage across the yard arm the uh, ballast point beer garden is now open enjoy craft beer bloody mary's and live entertainment and great food all day long One, you're the University of California, Los Angeles. Lane two, University of Oklahoma. Lane three, San Diego State.